right, that's Free Feet Flawless, giving us a flawless piece of music there. Uh, just, you know, setting the mood all right. And um, hmm. the next conversation, th that, that piece of music was very important for the next conversation because we don't want to have any heart attacks today. We're going to be talking about heart attacks. Now, um, if some of you have been listening to Love in the City, you realize uh, on City FM, 97.3 City FM, you realize that it is easy to have, you know, shaking, shaking, shakings in the heart. All right. I want to say a big thank you to Trendy Balloons and Events uh, for the beautiful setup that we have here on the set this morning. And I welcome Dr. Kelvin Owusu to help us to understand all that we need to know about heart attacks. He's the head of Occupational Health and Wellness at Claron Health International. Dr. Kelvin, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm very well. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> Same to you. Yeah. I don't, why, 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 why am I sitting with you? I mean, this is, this is not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. Why? It's Valentine. Uh, you, you wanted you, Kokui to be you here. You're not my Valentine. No, I'm not. <laughs> but you have a Valentine. I also have a Valentine. Uh, so we are okay. Yeah, we are okay. We are okay. We are okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but how have you been? How have you been? I've been good. I mean, yeah. preparing for today. I mean, there's, there's a lot of excitement in the yeah. air. I've been following the, 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 things, <laughs> the eh? things on CTFM. It's, <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> things are happening in this I country. Know, I know. I know. A lot of things. A lot of things. Um, heart attacks. A very important topic. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking about it from two um, angles. Okay. In terms of the season which we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, you hear some bit of bad news or news that you're not expecting mm -hmm. um, throws you into all kinds of emotional, um, yeah. you know, should I say roller coaster thing, and then your heart starts to do things that you don't mm -hmm. want it to do. On the other hand, you can be very excited, very, you know, um, into. Yeah. The Valentine's thing, yeah. and then suddenly your heart is cannot handle that. It's too much enjoyment and too much pleasure. <laughs> so I'm thinking about both of these things. You know, yeah. one is one starts from a good point, another starts from a bad point, but they both can affect the heart. Yes. What is a heart attack, and why do people even get heart attacks? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you rightly you put it rightly. I mean, it's extremes of of excitement. So whether it is good news or mm. very bad news, it can actually cause you to have a heart attack. Okay. Um, however, and this is a very important thing, the ordinary person would not typically have a heart attack. Okay. You know, there's there has to be an underlying problem, underlying issue with your heart. You know, so basically, a heart attack refers to um, a damage to the heart cells. Mm. You know, the cardiovascular cells mm. or the cardiac cells rather you know due to reduced or absent blood flow okay you know it's always it's easy to assume that because the heart pumps blood it gets its nourishment from the blood it's pumping yeah. but no the heart itself also has its own blood vessels that supply the cells with blood oh so when these blood okay. vessels get blocked okay then you have a um, death or dying of the tissue the heart the heart cells the tissues that that, that blood vessel would have supplied and that is what presents as heart attack you know, so, so to summarize it, when the heart pumps blood, the blood goes to supply all the mm. cells of the body. And those cells of the body include the cells of the heart itself. So there are blood vessels that come off the, the bigger arteries to supply the heart muscles itself. Now, if there's blockage of any of these blood vessels, it causes death or dying. Mm. You know, because if, if the blockage is not complete, it will not cause complete, mm. it, it, it will not cause death. It will cause the symptoms of dying, uh. you know. And when, when how, how a muscle responds to a lack of oxygen because that's what blood carries. Blood mm. carries oxygen to oxygen and nutrients to the cells. A muscle's response to a lack of oxygen is okay. pain. Mm. So typically, when you're exercising and you start noticing pain in your in your muscles, okay. it's usually because you are not getting enough oxygen okay. or there's a buildup of, of lactic oh. acid. That's an, another concept. Yes. But basically, oxygen not going to the cells would result the, the signal the muscle will give is pain. Mm. You know, so that's why you know when you watch movies and they they, they are trying to demonstrate heart attack, they will mm. always make mimic somebody in pain. Ah. You know, because of, because that's how the muscles would would communicate that I'm in pain. There's something lacking, and that thing that's lacking is oxygen. Hmm. You know. And so if that blockage is complete, yeah. then the cells will die, and that's a heart attack. You know, if that blockage is incomplete and there's still some amount of blood going through, then you have what we call angina. Okay. So angina would 
eventually lead to heart attack if we don't do anything about it. So angina is is what? Is it the pain? So angina is pretty much the pain. You okay. know, it's like something is wrong with, with, with me. You know, pay attention. Mm. I'm, I'm telling you. So mm. people with angina would typically have pain in their chest pain okay. when they try to exert themselves. So let's say they try, they try to go up, up the staircase, they yeah. have some pain. Mm. And depending on how serious the blockage is, mm. the distance or the, the amount of work extra exertion they can do mm. before the pain begins will begin to come down. So initially okay. they can do, let's say, walk, from uh, the big, uh, walk, walk around the building maybe, let's say, five times, yeah. and then the pain will start. Yeah. If that blockage continues to progress, then the distance begins to narrow. Okay. You know, so if it gets to a point where they can, they, they just get out of bed steps. and then they, they already yes. have pain. Okay. You know, and still if nothing is done about it and the blockage becomes complete, then, then, then exactly, you'd have the, the heart attack. The <laughs> death of the heart muscles. Exactly. And if that, if, if the, if the uh, volume or the, mm. the number of cells involved, the area yeah. involved is big enough, it can mm. actually result in death. You know, so you can have mm. a situation where you have a massive heart attack mm. and it would affect, it, it, would, it will be so significant that your heart becomes incompetent. It cannot pump enough blood to supply the body. And so wow. then you die. Wow. You know, so there are complications of, of heart attack, the ultimate being death. But before that one, there, there mm. are a few more complications that I'm sure we'll talk about as mm. we go ahead. Mm. Okay. So it's a big deal. Yeah. I'm smiling because there's a word that I think I remember from biochem class myocardial infarction so that's the medical term for a heart heart attack ah, okay. <laughs> so so basically what i've explained what i've yeah. described is the same thing that happens in the brain that results in a stroke okay so a blockage of blood vessel to the brain mm. would cause a stroke okay you know if if, if it happens in your muscles we could it, 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 will, it will begin as something we call inter intermittent claudication okay you know so um, and, and it can also happen in the in the kidneys so the blockage of the blood vessel happens in various parts of the body, of the body yeah. but they present differently mm. you know so the heart attack the stroke the intermittent claudication all these are you know okay. similar um, similar processes that result in, okay. in them okay let's talk about um, what to do when the symptoms start to present themselves and then eventually how to prevent heart attacks if possible altogether so typically you are you you are not supposed to be aware of your heart mm. you know pumping you know so as you're sitting down yeah. right now i mean your heart is beating but yeah. you're not supposed to be aware, aware of it aware of it exactly yeah. you know so once you begin to be aware of your heart and i and, and i and i mean when i say you, you shouldn't be aware of it I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about when you are at rest. Yeah. So when you are sitting down, except you are watching maybe, uh, yeah. since, since Liverpool is not doing so well nowadays, maybe you are watching a Liverpool match and they are misbehaving, you know, it can cause your heart. So you, you can become aware of your heart <laughs> in, in certain situations. Please, please. Or, I don't know why you are going to use Liverpool <laughs> as an example. I don't, I don't appreciate such things. Okay, or maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe AJ, AJ called you on the, on the phone about, about, uh -huh, about that some, one. something, you know, and you are not too sure who is coming from. Love in the you're, city. You're, yeah. you, you can become aware of your heart. Yeah. Now, should you become aware of your heart? Um, you know, if, if you're excited, you're playing, you're exercising or some exciting news, yeah. you know, you can feel your heart beating, mm. but it doesn't usually cause you distress. It doesn't mm. cause you pain. Mm. But the minute you start noticing pain when your heart is beating, you need to get a proper, proper okay. evaluation. Okay. You see, there's really not much you can do at home when it comes to heart related things. Okay. You know, I mean, when we talk about pre prevention, I'll tell you what you can do at home. But when you start noticing the pain, it's not time to be sitting in the house okay. and try doing trial and error. You okay. need to come in and let's see what exactly is going on. Because in as much as uh, pain around pain in the heart or around the heart mm. might be due to heart related problems, there are other structures in the chest as well that mm. could be the source. Mm. So for instance, there's a misnomer, something we call heart burn. Okay. It has got nothing to do with the heart. But because the pain is in the chest, yeah. in the old days, that's why they call it heartburn. Heart burn, yeah. But heartburn is actually uh, an esophagus and stomach problem. Okay. You see, but the esophagus is closely related to mm. the to the sto to the esophagus is coming through here. Yeah. The heart is sitting right, right here. Right next to it. Exactly. Mm. And so, some a problem with esophagus can also give you heart-related yeah. um, symptoms. Yeah. You know, so the fact that you're having pain there, we need to know where is the pain coming mm. from. Because again, mm. the lungs are also in that space. Mm. You know, so is it from the heart? Is it from mm. the lungs? Is it from the esophagus? Or is it from the stomach? Because the yeah. stomach also is sitting right under the heart. You know, so we need to know exactly where it is because the treatment is not the same. Mm. In fact, interestingly, some of the treatment for heart attack can actually um, cause you stomach problems hmm. and so if the issue was a stomach issue and then you went yeah. to just take any medication you could actually compound that problem and yeah. so you should it's, it's not something to sit in the house wow. and do and, and try wow. to deal with it yeah. you know let's yeah. diagnose properly and then give you appropriate treatment yeah. <laughs> uh, 
what about ulcers? So yes, so ulcer is one of the one of the things that can be confused because mm -hmm. a heartburn could actually be an ulcer that is sitting quite high up okay. in the stomach or okay. an ulcer around the base of the esophagus. Okay. Okay. You know, because the acid from the stomach can you know sort of um, e erupt into the into the mm. esophagus and irritate the esoph esophageal mm. lining, and okay. that can give you an ulcer. So ulcer is one of the things that we need to rule out. And that's what I mean by interesting. Some of the treatment for these heart issues can also yeah. cause ulcer. Mm. So you don't want to um, misdiagnose um, an ulcer as a heart problem yeah. and then treat for the heart and problem and then make the ulcer worse. Mm. So that's why, that's why it's important that you have to come in for proper evaluation. Okay. This is not something that you listen to your friends. Mm. You come in, we yeah. know what's going on, and then we can give you proper counsel. Okay. How do we prevent My favorite. a heart attack altogether? <laughs> So as a wellness consultant, this is actually where I, where I function, you see, because the biggest challenge I've come across is that most of us Ghanaians, we don't take our health seriously. And unfortunately, this year, it's probably going to become worse because mm. there's a lot of financial issues going on. DDEP. Exactly. And so people have relegated their yeah. health to the, back, to the background. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is that financial issues will also cause you um, a lot of heart distress, mm. you know. So this is actually a time that you need me the most <laughs> if you yeah. take that advice, yeah. you see. Now, the, many of us have not checked our BP this year. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. We don't know our blood pressure. You know, and because we don't know our, bl our blood pressure, there's ongoing damage. You know, because once your blood pressure starts going high, mm. it's, it's a chicken and it's egg thing. It causes damage. damage in the blood vessels. Mm. And because there's damage in the blood vessels, cholesterol begins to enter into those damaged areas. Oof. And cholesterol uh, eventually builds into something we call plaque. Yeah. And the plaque now attracts platelets. Okay. So then the platelets will now form a clot. Mm. And it's the clot that will then eventually cause the blockage. Yeah. So the wow. clot and the plaque will both keep growing and then they cause that blockage, mm. you know. Now, the reason why I said it's a chicken and egg is that the cholesterol also lying in the blood vessels could also be the reason why the blood pressure starts going up. Because it's constricting the space. Exactly. Through with the blood mass. Exactly. So as the space is constricted, the pressure goes up. As okay. the pressure goes up, more damage to the blood vessel, okay. more cholesterol is deposited, more mm. plaque is built, more platelets get in there. And then eventually causes the ob obstruction, which would then cause the heart, the, 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 uh, what do they call it, the heart attack. Mm -hmm. you know? So when we talk about preventing heart attack, we go back to the lifestyle the changes that we've been talking about all this while. Okay. You see, because indeed, how you live your life will Im definitely impact your health. Mm. So what are you eating? Yeah. You know, when are you eating? Yeah. You know, the biggest corporate and most of, most of us corporate workers fall victim to this is that we are eating late, late in the night mm. because of the busy schedule we close at five sometimes six and then you know you, you, you by the time you get home from with all the traffic it's mm. probably eight nine yeah. then you sit down and have a heavy meal and then when, by the time you even finish with the meal you are feeling sleepy so when mm. you finish you <laughs> either go straight to bed or you try to watch some tv yeah. but then you fall asleep in the couch yeah. you know so all that food you are eating is converted to fat you know, and that fat then makes you, I mean, you, you become obese yeah. and that, that brings a lot of challenges, yeah. you see. So, and, and again, what the components of our food, you know, animal, animal um, sources, uh, cholesterol is from animals. So the higher the content of, your, of animal, um, animal pr protein in your, in your food, mm. the higher the amount of cholesterol you are taking okay. in, you okay. know. Keep in mind that as humans, we already produce our own cholesterol because cholesterol yeah. is important. It yeah. helps us with our nerve conduction and other things. And the factor of testosterone. <laughs> yeah, that's well, what I know. It's Valentine, so yeah, <laughs> testosterone is very, very important to me. It's very important, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> you know, but because you're already producing your own cholesterol, any extra you bring in, yeah. I mean, it's extra. It so excess, it's, go it's yeah. going to now compound the situation. Mm. So between the, the, the weight, the diet, and the lack of exercise, yeah. There's buildup of, of the okay. cholesterol with the plaque and eventually the heart okay. attack. So imagine today you are expecting a gift from a setting someone and mm. the gift doesn't come. Mm -hmm. And then in your upset, your blood pressure goes up and you already have a narrowed blood vessel. Yeah. You see how you can end it's up in the, in the emergency room. It's, it's a, a problem. problem. So we have to take our, our lifestyle very seriously. <sighs> yeah, we have to take our lifestyle very seriously. Well, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Kelvin. How do people get in touch with you? I'm Dr. active on social media, Kelvin Owusu, MD, on all okay. channels. And okay. the clinic is also uh, um, um, on social media, Claron Health International. Fantastic. All right, get in touch with Dr. Kelvin Owusu and sort yourself out. If you, like he said, if, you have, if you're experiencing pain, it's not a time to do try and error at home. Listen to your friends, call your neighbor and say, hey, what do you think? What medicine do you take the last time? No, go to the hospital, get checked, all right?